Item number SCP-5107 Containment Class Cutter Object Class Phenomenon Special Containment Procedures Due to the nature of SCP-5107, direct containment is impossible. All public evidence of SCP-5107 has been confiscated, discredited, or tampered with, and is kept within the Site-51 archive. Due to the efforts of Foundation Assets in Historic Academia, SCP-5107 has been established as a hoax or illusion in the majority of public opinion. This cover will be perpetrated further if necessary. Description SCP-5107 was a phenomenon witnessed by approximately 50,000 people on 1970, October 15th. In a field near Batima, Portugal, at 12.37 Greenwich Mean Time, for approximately 10 minutes, the sun appeared to move erratically. It was corroborated through photographic evidence and testimony of Foundation agents present. SCP-5107 included an auditory event that analysis revealed to be a conversation and esclocesical land spoken and reversed by unknown entities, designated SCP-5107-A and SCP-5107-B. Discovery Between May and September of 1917, three children named Nusha Santos, Nacinto Marco, and Francisco Marco gained local renown for the public testimonies of the Virgin Mary speaking to them in the sky above Fatima, Portugal. One month prior to SCP-5107, the children stated that the phenomenon would be visible to all in attendance on the date. Approximately 50,000 civilians were in attendance on 1917, October 15th, including Foundation Junior Investigative Agent Thomas Wright, and Peter Glatsby. The following audio log was transcribed and translated for ease of access. Begin log. Oh, oh, Tom, is that thing on? Yeah, why is... Oh, wow, that's great. Pipe down. The, uh, the time is 12.37, and it, uh, it appears the sun is moving in the sky above the field. I, uh, I don't really know how to. Christ, you see that? I mean, the sun currently is weaving through the sky. It's doing some somersaulting in the sky. Yes, the crowd is able to see it too. I don't, uh, I don't know how it... Latsby is interrupted by the auditory event. A female voice can be heard speaking Nan in reverse. Untranslatable, can you come here? The light on the den is on a fit again. Holy crap! What is... Shh! Untranslatable. You come down here right now. Don't you ignore me. Me? What is it, Mom? I'm really busy, you know. Don't you speak that tone to me. The light's on the fridge again. Can't you fix it? I just fixed it like ten epochs ago. It's fine. That's what you said about the kitchen. Look how that turned out. Supernova right in the middle of dinner. That was just one time, Mom. It's not gonna supernova. Just put it back, jeez. Oh, now you want me to fix it. It's always don't touch this, don't touch that. I'm not doing it. Fine, what's the pro- And just how did this happen? You bumped it, didn't you? Trying to get a closer look, I bet. That's why you don't want to touch it. You broke it in the first place. Unbelievable. Wow, okay, the sun just stopped moving. Bring it now back. Are they watching? They're watching! Mom, why are the untranslatable watching? I told you! You don't tell me, young man, Mr. Big Shot. I raised you better than this. Wait until your father... SCP-1107-A's voice begins to fade. Unbelievable! The crowd can be heard speaking and cheering after 30 seconds of silence. All right, play it back. End log. Agents present during SCP-5107 underwent 
extensive medical and psychological analysis, and a large quantity of compound N78E3 was discovered in the systems. Compound N78E3 was regularly used in the creation of Class Y nestics, and is theorized to be the cause of the localized perception of SCP-5107. The source of the compound N78E3 present was not identified, and no further SCP-5107 activity has occurred.